Good day, viewers. You're welcome to Mathematics with Dr. OJ. Kindly subscribe after watching. Thank you. In this video, we shall be discussing basic arithmetic operations in algebra. Uh, what are the arithmetic operations that we have? The basic ones are the basic arithmetical operations. Are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In algebra, these operations are very, very important in that they form the nucleus of every algebraic operation. Uh, let's take, for example, the first one, addition. We are all aware that addition simply means sum. You have to find the sum of two or more items. So addition means bringing them together and make it, making them, uh, finding the total or some of them. So let's look at operations of sign that are used in uh, algebra. Sign operations. We shall start with sign operation first. Sign operations. What do we mean by sign operations? Let's try to look at that. Sign operations. In algebra. <clears throat> we start with the product of uh, two minus signs we give us addition sign. The product of a minus sign and a, a, an addition sign we give us a minus sign. That is minus times minus is plus, minus times plus is minus, and plus times minus the same thing as minus, 5 plus times plus is equal to plus. This might look very, very elementary and basic to some of us. But in actual fact, some students do run into troubles when they have to find the product of each pair of uh, the signs. So let's look at uh, how this could be used in algebra with this very basic example. Examples examples. Let's say example one. Say we are asked to find minus 2a multiplied by minus 3a. You know, minus 2a multiplied by minus 3a. So from what we have just learned, we are told that whenever you multiply minus sign by minus sign, you are going to have a plus sign. So minus times minus is plus. Then 2 times 3 is 6. A times A is A squared. That's as simple as that. Look at the second example. Example 2. See? I say, uh, what is, what is, you know, minus 2A times plus 5A. That is, minus 2A times plus 5A from our sign operations. Minus times plus is minus. 2 times 5 is 10. A times A is A squared. You can have other examples as. You can have other examples as. Let's say uh, minus 3A. Or let's say plus 3A times minus 5A. It's as, saying, it's as equal as saying that uh, minus 3A times plus 5A, you know. Because you can transpose, uh, you know, plus and minus here. You can bring minus 5a to the front and uh, having a 3 plus 3 at the rear end. So plus times minus is minus. 3 times 5 is 15. A times a is a squared. That's just the repetition of what we have just learned before. So you can equally have, uh, let's say, plus 3a times plus 5a. 
you know, plus times plus is plus. 3 times 5 is 15. A times A is uh, A squared. So these are just elementary uh, multiplication of uh, sign. These multiplications are very, very essential because when we get to some applications of uh, signs operation, then uh, we will observe that uh, what we have learned here is very, very necessary and very, uh, and very necessary and uh, important. So now let's quickly look at the addition of each pair of uh, of of each pair of this operation uh, operational variables, as well as uh, the algebraic expression. You know. Now suppose we have have to find find minus three a minus five a. It is fine. We have to find minus three a minus five uh, a. Minus 3a minus 5a. Let's, for clarity, for clarity, let's rewrite this. As you find the sum of minus 3a and uh, minus 5a. Huh. I think that is better here. Find the sum of minus 3a and minus 5a. What does that mean? This simply means minus 3a plus minus 5a. This all means addition. Okay, so let's recall our previous sign operation. We have minus three, you know, plus times minus. Plus and minus cannot stay together, so one has to go for the other one. So, and in this case, since we are having two signs placed side by side, what you just need to do is to multiply them. So, plus times minus is minus, then five a. So you now have minus three a minus 5a. Now, you observe that the two uh, pair of algebraic expressions have negative signs. And um, for us to evaluate minus 3a minus 5a, it implies that uh, we have to consider that at a point there is a deficit, at the other point there is another deficit. So the, we are having a deficit, you know, and this what I mean by deficit here is minus. In both cases, that's uh, one way at which you can look at it, you know. And uh, besides, you observe closely that we are not multiplying this time around. We are saying adding minus 3a to 5a. Since both pairs of uh, algebraic expression, they have um, a minus sign, then you take minus sign too. I hope you get that. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 get, don't get confused here. It's very simple. It's very simple. Just relax. Relax. You understand it, okay? Now, minus 3a minus 5a. Minus 3a minus 5a implies that you are, had, you are adding two negative um, algebraic expressions together. So since this 3a has a negative sign, 5a has a negative sign. So the option, I mean, the sign you're going to pick will be negative. Whenever the two pairs of, uh, or, or the two uh, algebraic expression, whatever the two of them, or as much as possible, have the same negative sign. The answer you are going to get must also be negative. Okay, so we have minus three a minus five a will be you pick a negative sign because both pairs have negative sign. Three a has a negative sign, five a has a negative sign. So you pick a negative sign. Okay, now since both both have negative signs and you have picked a negative sign. So the next thing is now to consider the addition of 3a and 5a. That's all. You consider what? The addition of 3a and 5a. So when you add 3a to 5a, you have what? You have 8a. So you see that this value is different from when you are asked to find minus 3a times minus 5a. They are completely different. They are not the same thing. Okay. That is that about that. Let's look at another example. Um, you can say add minus 7a and 6a. We also had minus 7a and 6a. How do we find this? How do we find this? So what this one is saying is minus 7a plus 6a. You know, minus 7a plus 6a. Now, let's look at this closely. First of all, both pn both pairs do not have the same sign. 7a has a negative sign. 
why 6a has a positive sign. So you cannot decide to pick minus in this context. Even though it might, it might be coincidentally right, yet, since both of them do not have the same sign, you must be very careful. So which you now pick? On the, on like the other previous example we have just solved, both of them have a negative sign. That's why we pick, that's why we pick negative sign. But in this case now, one has a negative sign, the other one has a positive sign. So what you're not going to do here is look at the two pairs. Which of them is bigger? You observe closely here that 7a is more than 6a, nominally, without considering the sign. This is right now. We know that 7a is always greater than 6a. Good. Since 7a is more than 6a, you now ask yourself, what sign does that 7a possess? 7a has a negative sign. For that reason, you pick minus. Okay? I hope you understand that. I repeat, between 7a and 6a, which one is greater? Without considering their signs, 7a is more than 6a. Fine. Now that 7a is more than 6a, and you know that the sign that 7a has is a negative sign. So you pick that negative sign. So you have minus, because 7a possesses a minus sign. Good. Having done that, the next thing is now you want to add 7a and 6a. But the addition that we don't have here is not just direct, it's not a direct addition where, where you say 7a plus 6a is not uh, 30. No, that would be wrong. So what we do here is that since 7a has a negative sign and 6a has a positive sign, if you multiply that minus sign by the positive sign here, you know you don't have minus sign because plus has minus as plus is minus. So that implies that you will subtract 6a from 7a. Okay, you understand again. Okay, take 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 note of this. It's, it's, it's simple, it's simple. Come on. Now you have a negative sign, a positive sign. We pick a negative sign because the one that has a negative sign is greater than the one that doesn't have a negative sign. So that's why we pick what minus sign here. Okay. Now for us now to evaluate completely, we have to what? We have to multiply this sign by this sign, this negative sign by this positive sign. Minus and plus is minus. So that minus you have obtained now will now be used to subtract six a from seven a. That would be what? That would be a. Oh, you said 1A. No, there's nothing like 1A in mathematics. You cannot have 1A. Okay, it's wrong to say 1A. No, it's very wrong. So, you have, you have, instead of saying 1A, you write A. Because you have 7A here, it's just like say, you know, 1, 2, 3, A, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are 7 A's. I want to subtract 6 from all the A's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you are left with 1A, but not 1A. You write A. Okay? Now, that is that about that. Let's look at further examples. We have something like this. Suppose we are asked to find um, the sum of, you know, minus 6a plus 7a. Uh -huh. You can see that this one is just the is just the reverse of the of the previous example. You know, we have just tried to change. We transpose the signs there. Okay. Now we want to find what minus 6a plus 7a. In this context. Like we have just done here, which is bigger between 6a and 7a? Because they don't have the same sign. So you have to consider the bigger of the two. 7a is more than what? It's more than 6a. So you have to take the sign that that 7a possesses. And that is what? A positive sign. Okay? Now, having taken a positive sign, now multiply the sign of 6a by the sign of 7a. So minus times plus is minus. Use that minus to subtract 6a from 7a. So you have what? 6a from 7a will go. Instead of writing 1a, like I told you the other time, you write a. So, I know 6a plus 7a is equal to plus a. Now, finally here, finally, suppose we have to find, evaluate, evaluate uh, 3a squared plus 10a squared. This is another very big example. Let's say put plus here. 3a squared plus 10a squared. It's as simple as the previous one you have done. There's nothing special here. You observe that we have 3 has a positive sign, 10 has a positive sign. And we have a squared, a squared. Since a squared is common, so this, you have nothing to fear. You don't have to, you know, stress yourself. a squared is common to them. Take note of that. The sign that these two pairs of uh, uh, algebraic expression possess is positive. So you take a positive sign. Having taken a positive sign, now... Automatically, if you multiply plus than, plus by plus, you are going to have plus. Plus times plus is plus. So use three and uh, you add three to ten. You know, and it's because uh, the multiplication of plus and plus is plus. 
So if you add 3 to 10, you have what? 13. And since a squared is common, it's what? a squared. So you have 13 a squared. It's not difficult at all. It's just like when you are asked to add 3 a squared, you know, this, these are 3 a squared. You now want to add it to 10 a squared, you know, as much as 10. So by the time you add them up, you are going to have 13 a squared. So this is where we're going to stop for now. Uh, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. God bless you.